What's up, everybody? We're back again with another video, episode three, Chats with Matt. Today, I'm kind of just gonna catch you up on why I haven't posted. It's I'm two days late of when I'm supposed to be posting. I want to stay consistent, so I'm just kind of gonna update you about my week. So it's crazy, cause like before, like all week, I like plan like, oh, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. Have you guys ever been in a situation where like you almost have everything you need and want and then in like a snap of a finger it's gone so on saturday january 28th i actually injured my back at work i stayed till two because i didn't want to leave without having someone to cover me because i could have just left because it was really hurting but i stayed then i left at two came home relaxed sundays are my days off monday i called off because i was still hurting tuesday was my day off Wednesday I go in and I let them know what happened, da, 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 da. they take me to the urgent care and um, then yeah I got fired from my job the next day. It was sus to me okay, it was real sus because I was asking for comp compensation for Monday and the Saturday that I left early because I was in pain and then they fired me so I was like hmm, but let me tell you guys, unfortunately I'm not playing victim. But I do definitely believe it should have just been a write-up, <clears throat> not termination. And my boss, my coworkers, they all agree with me. I was employed at that location for about almost three months. So um, I do own up to my mistakes. I did make a mistake. It was one mistake that I believe it should just have been a write-up. <clears throat> but... Um, Fortunately, they terminated me. I mean, you know, at that time, I wish I could have fought a little bit more, but I knew I was wrong, so it was, I just needed to own up to it. You know, as a man, we are instilled to own up to um, our mistakes. And also, we need to recognize when we're not wrong, if that, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes we just be owning up to our mistakes just to kind of, like, end the scenario conversation or whatever you know and, and then we start to think about it and we're like wait like but it didn't even like go that way i did what i did when i had first started working there realized it was wrong then i told myself i'm never doing that again and i never did you know there was there's multiple was and is employees still doing worse than me actually doing it worse than me and walking freely still working there but <clears throat> that just means it was not for me god has a different plan for me and i accepted it i cried just because in my head i thought like i'm a bad father a bad husband i you know like i, I let my family down for a mistake that i made but I had some friends tell me like, you know what, you're not a bad father. It doesn't make you a bad father. You, you are, your mistakes don't make who you are. It's true to an extent. I believe like if you make the mistakes over and over again, you, you know what you're doing at that point. You know, I made this mistake once. I learned from making the mistake before I got caught. I knew it was wrong. And I told myself like, like I started asking for forgiveness because it's not who I am. And it was very simple. I can't say too much because I don't know how they'll take it, like the company, whatever. Overall, I owned up to my mistake, <clears throat> took responsibility. I talked to the man above, you know, had my conversation with them. I'm on to the next step, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. God had a different plan for me. <clears throat> I know that I lost this job for a reason. And I started to see it that way, you know, like, there's a reason why I'm not working there anymore. And I kid you not, I did everything. All my, like, employees on the floor with me realized and they told me, like, you've done so much. So in my head, I'm like, why did they catch me for one thing, but they didn't recognize anything else I did? <sighs> but it's okay. God has a plan. I gotta just keep saying that. It's God, God's plan, God's plan. And, um... But even my boss that when I was working, which is not my, well, she was my boss, uh, my coach or my team lead. She was like, you're an entrepreneur. She's like, this, this is just another, this is another uh, step, you know, 
another uh, part of my journey. Like, I have to go through these fails and these mistakes and these things to learn. And, and I was like, you know what? She's like, you know who you are. She's like, you are an entrepreneur. You do you, boo. And I was like, period. And, like, after that, like, I, I realized, you know what? We are human. We're going to make mistakes. That's just who we are. Like, if we don't make mistakes, are we even learning? You know, how are we going to learn if we don't bleep up? It's sad because I loved my job. I really did. I I actually really love my job. I worked everywhere so far. Like, I've worked f Disneyland, Amazon, Raw. I worked at warehouses. I worked, you know, um, Puerto Loco. I've done all that and it just wasn't for me. I mean, I like the Puerto Loco because I worked with customers, but my management was... I worked at Disneyland. It was just the, the commute. Um... Warehouses, not for me. Mentally. The physical work, is, that's in the bag. It's just mentally, I just cannot go into the same place, see the same people, and just do the same thing. It just, it was, it's not for me. That's just, that's my personal thing. I am capable of doing the physical, but the mental, no. Nah. So like I said, God has a plan for me. You know, on to the next chapter in my book. This, this mentality didn't happen overnight, you know. It definitely took a lot of prayer. You know, I was upset the first day and I was like, <sighs> I had to seek out and let everybody know like what happened because I wanted them to see like that's not who I am. And they knew that the first thing they said was like, I know you're not a bad person. You did something that everybody at this place does. So I just was the one that got caught and I'm glad I got caught now instead of later because I probably would have been comfortable where I'm at and I'm not trying to get comfortable. I'm trying to branch out and you know if i got comfortable i feel like i would have been there for the rest of my life and not fulfilled my dreams because i liked my job and like i said i was comfortable so overall i'm glad that that happened thank you god because now i have to get on my feet and look for another challenge you know i need to find something else not make that same mistake again and i won't but yeah, well, that's it for today. It's just a little video, a little something, something to catch you guys up because I did have a bad week. But I still wanted to stay consistent with my videos. Don't forget to praise now and pray later. Have a good night, you guys.